Hey everyone, John here, and welcome to my island Eventide. And you might be thinking, John, what are you doing with a picture of former Nintendo President Furukawa on your island? And more importantly, how do I get one? Well, you might have seen this over Twitter and in other people's islands, but basically, the, uh, the custom design function is rather flexible. But, how do you make designs that are this accurate in pixel art? Well, there is a way around it. So you can do masterpieces like I have by hand, this is Sonic, or you can import pictures using a website. So I'll show you exactly how to do that right now. So first off, we're going to press the minus button and return to the title screen, because this plays a pivotal role in setting this up. Now, I'm going to say something that might like strike fear into your heart. You need the Nintendo Switch Online app for this. I know, scary. But don't worry, we'll, we'll pull through. So first up, you've got to set the game up with the online app. So from the main menu, when it appears in just a moment, what we're going to do is press the minus button. There we go, takes a little while. And from here we'll meet Tom Nook. Now, I've already set up my account, so there's not a whole lot more to see from here. But I can show you exactly what you have to do. So, basically there's a few options here, being save data settings and Nook Link. And Nook Link is what we want. So we're going to choose Nook Link settings. And uh, Tom Nook's going to say to me, John, you fool, you've already done this. I can't allow you to change that. But what you would do is basically choose that option, open up the online app, Choose the Animal Crossing portion, and then they'll just link together. That's all you really need to do. I think you press maybe the link button on there, but it's super simple. Basically have them both open, and it's more or less automatic from there on in. So now we've done that, now we've, now we've linked up the Switch Online app with Animal Crossing, what do we do then? Well, first, you need a picture. So follow me onto the internet. Okay, so I'm now on my desktop, and what we're going to do is find an image on lines. So what I want is the Game Explain logo, and we'll find a nice transparent one. It doesn't have to be transparent, but because New Horizons does support transparency, you can use them. So I'm going to save this one. Looks like we already have it. There we go. So now we've got to go to a website called acpatterns.com. We'll have a link down to it in the description below, so you can just click on that and go straight there. And for now, we're going to go to the editor, and then press Convert. If you really wanted to, you could just make your designs within this place, but we're going to take the image that we just downloaded, being this one right here. And we're basically going to take this, it recognizes the transparency, we're going to press 100% transparency to make sure that it's not missing out on, well, actually, you know what, let's, uh, let's go 50%, because as you can see, 100% kind of takes off some of the, uh, the blue edges there, so let's go 50%, press convert. And there you go, the Game Explain logo is in the Animal Crossing editor, but how do we get this from the computer into the game? So what we're going to do is press Generate QR Code, and now we have our QR code to scan in. But of course the Switch does not have a camera, so what we have to do is go into the Nintendo Switch Online app. So come on, let's open up that thing that we've all had on our phones for months and months and have never touched. Alright fellas, I'm sorry to say we're on the Switch Online app right now, and what we're going to do is press Animal Crossing New Horizons, which has a special section all its own. So from here, there's going to be a few options. We can either uh, type on a keyboard, we can look at our passport, we can look at our best friends, but we're going to press Designs, and go down to scan a QR code. Now usually, this will be used for New Leaf, and if you're scanning a, a PC, just keep going back and forth, eventually it'll work. It'll recognize it, there you go and it's recognized the Game Explain logo. So I'm gonna press save. All right, from here on in, this is saved basically into a little cloud portion. And what we're gonna do is download it into New Horizons. So you put your phone down for now, the, the part with the Switch Online app is entirely done now. All we gotta do is go back into New Horizons and put the GX icon in there. All right, we're very, very nearly done. So now we're gonna open up the Nook phone and go to custom designs. From here, press the plus button and it will say, do you want to download something? And we'll say, yep, download it. And it's going to recognize that there's something waiting for us. Simply choose an empty one, try not to override anything that has something already there. And there we go, the GX logo's in there. Now, because we scanned in a QR code, we cannot edit these within the game. Like, if I made these from scratch, you can edit, but if you've imported them, you cannot. So we can either now wear the GX logo on our top. We have, like, a now snazzy GX t-shirt. Or... We can also place them in a, in a painting, on the ground. There's lots you can do with them. So let's do, let's do a bunch of things. So we'll press uh, display here. And we'll put a, uh, a painting there. Beautiful. We can also just put it on the ground. There you go. 
And if you wanted something even bigger, what you can do is this takes a bit more work, but I basically put Owen Wilson over here for a an update, well, a thumbnail earlier. And what I basically did for that was I took the image and I broke it up into four different quadrants and just scanned each one in individually. That takes a bit more work, and if you want to have like a really big image, you can just keep splitting them up that way. Takes longer, takes a bit more time, but um, that is a way to just get a bit more uh, real estate out of your images. But there's a, there's a ton you can do with these. Like over here, I have Link and Marin just over on the on the beach. Inside my house, I have paintings of uh, my dog, which is also the flag of this island, and also me and my fiance. It's just, it adds a bit more personality to New Horizons, and I'm sure you can do bad things with it too, which I'm sure Nintendo doesn't want you to do. But either way, uh, it's just it's just a really cool thing, and uh, it makes every island sort of feel unique because you can just have these very personalized images everywhere. So have you guys done this yourselves? And if you haven't, are you going to do it now? Let us know in the comments below, and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for a lot more on Animal Crossing New Horizons and other things gaming too. Until next time. Bye.